Delhi University BCom Honors. So today we are going to discuss the semester two corporate accounting exam structure. It is slightly different from BCom program. So the paper style is as follows. Question one will be from share capital and debentures of 15 marks. Question two will be final accounts practical question and either theory or practical from goodwill and shares and the total will be of 15 marks. Amalgamation question three a compulsory question of 15 marks. Question four again holding companies compulsory question of 15 mark and lastly question 5 either theory or practical sum from banking company and practical or theory from cash flow statement and total will be of 15 marks further the internal marks are as follows attendance will be of 5 marks internal assignment of 10 marks and internal test of 10 marks and the total comes to 25 so this is how the 100 marks paper will be designed so as you have seen it is almost similar to bcom program just slight differences there moving on further to, to the guidelines of corporate accounting from unit 1 share capital and debentures you have to study all the following topics Unit 2 Final Accounts You have to mainly study the practical questions and uh, the th only thing excluded from this chapter is calculation of managerial remuneration. Then Unit 3 that is valuation of goodwill and valuation of shares. From this chapter only simple practical problems will be asked. Then further moving the guidelines are as follows. Unit 4 that is amalgamation which is a compulsory equation from this you have to study the following topics and the excluded topics are as follows in from internal reconstruction the scheme of reconstruction is excluded from unit 5 that is holding company it is also a compulsory equation and you have to only study the consolidated balance sheet only with one subsidiary company and the provisions of AS21. Then unit 6 banking company it can be a theory or it can be a practical equation from asset structure or NPA. Then moving on forward, the further guideline for the last chapter that is cash flow statement is as follows. You have to study only the indirect method of cash flow statement that is as per accounting standard 3 and also study a small theory for that. And the note is as follows. All the questions are compulsory and all the chapters you have to prepare it means there is nothing optional for example it is possible that banking theory and cash flow practical is asked or cash flow theory and banking practical is asked so you cannot leave anything in option you have to cover all the parts comprehensively so i hope you are clear with the exam structure now so stay connected and subscribe to our youtube channel techs and tricks thank you